Hello, I'm here with Mark Higgins, educator and trainer at UMETSAT, and he's going to be talking about the European weather movie for May. Hi there. So at the beginning of the month, we can start to see uh, just over the Bay of Biscay here, an ice system, um, and that'll be bringing rain to northern France. And also there's an interesting feature you can see in the mornings on the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea, very, very bright light, just at the point of, of sunrise. And that's a function of when the satellite, the sun and the sea surface, mean that the satellite's effectively seeing an image of the sun in that water surface. Very, very bright. It's called sun glint. Just after the sun glint has passed on this particular days, we're seeing some low cloud and fog on the Black Sea just there. Just in Turkey, we'll also be starting to see some of the convection starting off. So that'll be bringing rainfall in the afternoon. A lot of cloud here on the morning of the 4th on the Black Sea there. And you can see it dissipate during the day as the day warms up. Here on the 5th, you'll start to see some interesting thunderstorms building up. Um, if you look north of the Black Sea, just into southern Russia, but you can really see those small focused thunderstorm clouds so here, eastern Turkey, you'll see those growing during the day um, and depositing rain. It's interesting just to see at the top end of the Gulf of Bothnia when the cloud when it's cloud free if there's any ice still there and you can see that from the cyan patches that don't move. This was a very windy period for Western Europe and you can get an indication of that from the speed with which the clouds are moving. Very very windy, um, significant gales reported on the west coast of Ireland on 8th and 9th of the month. Another thing you can see at the beginning and the end of the days are the shadows. As the angle um, between the sun and the cloud and the satellite is such that you can actually see the shadows. So in the middle of the day, you just tend to see the colours, the cyan and the white of the clouds. At the beginning and the end of the day, you can see the structures. And you can really see how the blue clouds, which indicate ice are much higher up, cast much longer shadows because they're higher up. So have a look at the beginning and the end of the days and you can start to see those shadows. Particularly have a look in the convective areas at the end of the day and you'll start to see just how well developed and how high those storms get. And of course that's very important for the development of convection because you end up with particles being forced very high up, generating nice ice particles to then fall down as, as rain or possibly even hail. This was a very wet and windy period for a lot of Western Europe and we'll see these steady systems coming in over the Atlantic, picking up moisture and then depositing that moisture on us as we go through the month. So you can see here another low, um, very well defined, nice cloud structure, a kind of swirling structure just moving over the UK. These low pressure systems are driven by the jet stream and these determine the direction in which the low pressure systems will move. What we're noticing at this time of year is the jet stream is quite far north and that means we're experiencing all of these weather systems as they come through UK, France and then across Central Europe. So that's why we've been experiencing quite a lot of rain this month. Coming into the 15th, the UK was reporting some snow over higher ground in the north and even in Devon and Cornwall in the west of UK. This phenomenon occurs about once every 50 years. So it's not unheard of, but it's not frequent. And I think that reflects the colder 
nature of this particular May as well as the level of moisture. And just as we come into the 17th, you may wish to look at one of our other YouTube videos which shows what we're calling an ultra-rapid scan of the European weather. So the Metisat 8 satellite was actually imaging over Europe for this day every two and a half minutes. And you can really see the difference that that higher time resolution makes. Particularly look at the formation of the convective clouds. You can really see the smooth development of those clouds. And that's what this high uh, imaging rate is really useful for. It'll be an important part of the Metisat third generation, which will be um, post-2020. So on the 18th, we saw some incredibly high rain reported in Ireland, very, very wet period. Here you can see more rain coming in just across France and southern Germany, that really big cloud structure there. Low cloud and fog here over the Atlantic and North Sea. You can see that as it drifts across and coming south over the UK and now into Western Europe. So looking just north of the Black Sea on the 19th and 20th, you can really see these convective storms in the late afternoon. Coming into the 20th, 21st, a lot of low cloud and fog reported and seen here on the clouds over the Atlantic and North Sea. And we're now entering a period of quite intense rainfall as we get in towards the end of May. A lot of us in the west and central parts of Europe experienced a lot of rain during these last weeks. There were a few nice days in between the rain, but what that does is it sets up the beginning of June with all the river systems at capacity. At the beginning of June, of course, we saw a lot of flooding in Germany and other parts of Central and Eastern Europe. So just watch as we as we come through in the end of the month how these weather systems travel across uh, Western Central Europe and just how much rainfall there is. Some days so in the UK on the 25th, nice clear skies. Nice spring day. And as it gets towards the end of the month, you can see a very, very well-defined low-pressure system. So this is on the 27th with a front just passing over the UK. And that front is then going to pass over the rest of Europe and bring more rain. This particular point, you can also start to see a lot of thunderstorm activity over the eastern parts of Turkey and just south of Turkey you'll see some of those thunderstorms have quite a funny colour and that's possibly due to dust being lifted up. There are other products available at Umetsat which we can see the dust more clearly um, but we think you can probably see dust being lifted up and contaminating those thunderstorms so it slightly changes the colour of the clouds. You might notice at the end of May that that sun glint effect that you saw very clearly over the Black Sea is now not so prominent. And that's because the sun is now in a slightly different position, slightly further north. And so the geometry is such that you don't see that effect over the Black Sea so strongly in the mornings. You might see it over the Atlantic instead.